there's a banner I've seen around somewhere here today that says extinction is forever. And it's got a picture of all those animals on that we love, you know, lions and tigers and elephants and things like that. And the idea that just one day, because of the things that we are doing as human, human beings, that those might not be there anymore, you know, that, that's just too big. So taking action, I've got to the place where, yeah, I will sit in the street and get in the way. I will inconvenience people. I know it inconveniences them. But the day that the lights go out and the conquer trees are no more and the elephants die, the inconvenience is going to be so much greater. You know, when we're all fighting for land to grow food, when we're fighting because there's not enough water, I, I, we just don't want to see that. None of us want to see that happen. So I'm out here on the street inconveniencing people. I talk to people in as many churches as I can possibly get to, and people are starting to listen. For me, care of creation is part of the expression of my Christian faith. I am absolutely passionate about that, and I will bore the socks off anybody who wants to listen to me talk about it. But what we can't do is do nothing. Everybody has somewhere that they fit within this. Everybody's got a part to play. Everybody has something to do. Pray about it talk about it get out here act we've all got a part to play whatever your part is please find it and do it as you can see the sister we interviewed earlier on is just being arrested it's actually a um, it's actually a really upsetting thing to see she's such a beautiful soul and she's dealing with the whole thing with so much dignity I chose not to move and they've arrested me, but at least it means that um, I'm making my point, I'm telling the world if it cares to be looking, that I care about this planet, I care about the world more than I care about my personal safety, and my desperation would not let me walk away. I couldn't walk away, so this is where I am.